I'm excited to review another PC fan powered air purifier, this Air Fanta 3 Pro. When we asked our community on X, Twitter, they said they wanted to see this review next. So this is for you guys. If you don't wanna watch my full review of this device, here are the five things I really like and the three things I don't. The first one is, I love the initial price. It's only $149.99. It also has great air cleaning performance. At its highest fan speed, it managed to clean our test room in 14 minutes. It was also much easier to put together than the standard PC fan kits like the Luggable or the New Kit Tempest. And the size of the device, especially when we compare it to something like the Corsi Rosenhol box, this is much easier to live with. Finally, you can break down the parts and it will fit into a carry-on luggage, which is great for those who want to travel with an air purifier and have high KDAR device at their arrival. Now, what I don't like. So the first one is, at its highest fan speed, it's as loud as many of the HEPA devices we've tested. Also, the filters. You can't use standard HVAC filters like you can do with other PC fan kits. You have to use the Air Fanta designs, and that's been a design decision that they've made so that it can be portable enough to travel with. Finally, on its highest fan speed, the energy costs are again similar to what we see with HEPA devices we've tested. Right, let's jump in to the full review. As with all of the air purifiers we review here at HouseFresh, we bought the Air Fanta 3 Pro with our own money. We managed to get it sent over from Amazon.com through a service called SnapClick and they sent it over to us in the UK. But I do know that Air Fanta has plans to make this available in the UK and Europe and it may be available in Europe when you watch this video. The Air Fanta 3 Pro is a creation of Adam Wong, who first got into creating his own air purifiers back in 2022 when China left its zero COVID policy. Initially, he was just creating Corsi Rosenhol boxes for family and friends, but he get tons of requests from the COVID cautious community over in China. So he started to create his own standardized units and selling them in China and started selling a lot of them. The Air Fanta 3 Pro aims to be an affordable device that has high KDAR that is also portable. It does this through these low airflow H11 filters on each side of the device and powerful PC fans. If you've seen my reviews before, you'll know I'd like to see if a KDAR test has been done. KDAR is short for clean air delivery rate and is a way to see how well a device will perform in your home. And we're in luck with this device. There's been a KDAR test done by David Elstrom and Rob Wise and the results are pretty impressive. So at 13 volts, it had a KDAR of 436 CFM, at 12 volts, 413 CFM, and at nine volts, 328 CFM, and six volts, 213 CFM. Now comparing these KDARs to many of the HEPA devices we've tested, this is much higher. So we can expect in our performance test that this device is gonna be very, very impressive at removing tiny particles from the air. So let's jump into the exciting part. How well did the Air Fanta 3 Pro do at removing tiny particles from our test room? We tested the Air Fanta 3 Pro in the same 728 cubic feet test room that we've tested over 70 different air purifiers. Recently, as of this year, we've recorded our test and include an additional Purple Air Zen sensor. Now, according to our test, running at its highest fan speed, the Air Fanta 3 Pro managed to clean our test room in a rapid 14 minutes, which is really impressive, but matches up with the massive KDAR scores that we saw from David Elstrom and Rob Wise. We can compare this performance of the Air Fanta 3 Pro with other devices we've tested. It's impressive that this is one of the cheapest units that we've tested, but at its highest fan speed, it has the same performance as many HEPA retail devices, costing upwards of $500. Now, it's worth noting that this device doesn't have a carbon filter as standard, so it's not a direct comparison, but it's still impressive to see a device costing $149 performing so well at removing PM1 particles from our test room. So let's jump into the design of the device. Similar to the Corsi Rosenhol box, you have filters on each side of the device with the fan array at the top. Now, unlike your standard PC fan kit, you don't need to wire this device together. However, you do need to put the filter sides in and put the filter array on the top. If you saw my unboxing, you know I found it a little difficult to get the filters in exactly the right place. So I would appreciate in future iterations, maybe there's some visual cue to help you put the filters and where they need to go as there's just a lot of 
trying out different ways. And I'm sure after you've done it a few times, it will get pretty easy. Now the Air Fanta 3 Pro has been designed with two things in mind. You want to keep things affordable and also have it portable. So when it came to affordability, he's dropped many of the extra features that you see on standard HEPA retail devices. It really is similar to the Corsi Rosen Hall box. You have a bottom, which is in this case plastic, and then the fan array itself, which is made from the same plastic. And then you just put the filters together on each side and the device is done. The power is provided by this cable on the side, which just plugs directly into the voltage meter. Now, the portability aspect I think is really interesting because it was designed in such a way that when you break down all of the parts, it's small enough to fit in a standard carry-on bag on an airline, which I think is really, really good. I get tons of emails from people from House Fresh wanting to travel to a location and have a high KDAR device when they arrive. And this really could fit the bill because I can't imagine you getting on an airline with an IQ Air Health Pro Plus or a Smart Blast Mini Mark II. They're just much too big. But with this device, you could travel and have a really high KDAR when you arrive. The second most important thing to look at when choosing an air purifier is the amount of sound it generates. There's no point an air purifier being great at cleaning the air if it sounds like a jet engine, because you're gonna find you not wanna use the device or you're even gonna have family members switching it off, which is why when we test all of our devices, we look at the amount of sound that's generated at three feet away. Now the Air Fanta 3 Pro is a little different as it doesn't have standard fan speeds, but on the device you can choose the voltage figures. So we chose a number of different voltage figures to see how much sound it generates at each power level. So at its lowest voltage at 3.63, it hit 36.1 decibels, whilst at its highest top speed, which we reported as 12.6 volts as by the box, it hit 56.3 decibels. But please have a listen for yourself. We also compared the data of this performing at its highest fan speed with other devices we've tested. As you can see from the table, at its highest fan speed, it had a similar sound level to many of the HEPA retail devices. In comparison, the Luggable XL and the Nukit Tempest were much quieter when running at their single speed. Whilst the top fan speed KDAR is impressive, we thought that many consumers may want to use it at lower fan speeds. So we were sure to do a performance test for the lower and medium fan speeds. So for the low speed, we set the voltage to 4.84 volts and it managed to clean our test room in 31 minutes. And it had a sound level of 38.1 decibels. Now at medium speed, which we set to 8.01 volts, it managed to clean our test room in 17 minutes with a sound level of 47.2 decibels. We can then compare this to other devices we've tested running at lower fan speeds to see what the comparison looks like. When we account for sound levels, the Air Fanta 3 Pro is much better than many of the HEPA retail devices we've tested, but it was beaten by the Clean Air Kit's Luggable XL, which managed to clean our test room in 20 minutes with a sound level of 38.8 decibels. As part of our reviews and testing, we also like to see how much energy is used. And at its highest fan speed, the Air Fanta 3 Pro hit 43.23 watts. But we also wanted to see how much energy was used at each different fan speed. So we chose a number of different voltages to see how much energy is used at each level. Have a look at the table above. If you had to leave this device running 24 hours a day for an entire year at its highest fan speed, it would add an additional $45.44 to your energy bill. The energy difference between this and the PC fan kits is a lot less when we account for the lower fan speeds, but when compared to the other HEPA retail units, it's clear that this device really outperforms them, especially when running at the lower fan speeds. As with the sound levels, the only device to beat the Air Fanta 3 Pro is the Luggable XL from Clean Air Kits. So what filters do you use with the Air Fanta 3 Pro? Now, as this isn't a DIY kit, you can't use any HVAC filter with this device. You do need to use the filters from Air Fanta. And these are HEPA 11 filters with come with a mesh guard on the outside, which acts like a pre-filter that you can wipe down and also makes the device look a little nicer and protects you from children deciding to put their fingers in the filters. Now, as it's still a new device, the only filters available are the OEM filters from Air Fanta, but I can imagine Imagine in the future, as this device becomes a bigger seller, many third-party manufacturers will choose to make third-party filters for this device. 
As with any air purifier that uses mechanical filters, you will need to replace the filters eventually. They'll become full of dirt and particles and restrict airflow so efficiency will reduce. The filters for this device are available in packs of four for $59.99. And Adam recommends that it'll be around nine months to change the filters if you're in the US, but it will be dependent on your air quality in your area. But assuming replacing the filters every nine months, you're gonna have an additional filter cost per year of $79.78. Now, when you combine the filter costs with the energy usage, we have an annual running cost of the Air Fanta 3 Pro of $125.22, assuming you're using at its highest fan speed, 24 hours a day, which might not be the case, but we like to give the highest expectation when looking at this. We can compare this to other devices we've tested. Looking at the table, you can see that the running cost of the Air Fanta 3 Pro is very much in line with many of the HEPA devices we've tested. But in comparison to those devices, you get much better performance, especially when you're using at its highest fan speed. As with sound and energy, the only two devices to beat this for running costs are the NuKit Tempest and the Clean Air Kits Luggable XL, primarily because they use less energy and also you can use HVAC filters, which can be a little cheaper. Now, the only thing I will talk about at this point is the fact that this device arrived in a single cardboard box. And especially for people like me who maybe export the device from the US, it's gonna go through lots of different places. I would recommend that Adam looks into the possibility of having two cardboard boxes as things can happen during travel and it would be a shame if there's any issues that happened before it arrives with the customer. One of the really cool things I saw with the other PC fan kits that we've tested was that you could use a battery pack like this to connect the device and just run it off battery power. Sadly, I tested with my battery pack and the attachment for the 12 volt power, and I wasn't able to get the Air Fanta 3 Pro working. And this might be due to the extra power consumption of this array versus the PC fan kits. So that is a shame, but Adam, if you know of a way to use a battery pack, please let me know in the comments. So what do I think of the Air Fanta 3 Pro? Well, if you told me a year ago that there'd be an air purifier with a KDAR of 436 CFM for less than $150, I would have thought it was some sort of scam. But the Air Fanta 3 Pro does match up to this KDAR in our testing, and it's able to provide you multiple air changes in big spaces, which would cost you three times as much if you go down the standard retail HEPA route. Whilst it's not plug and play, it's a lot easier to put together than your standard PC fan kit. You really just put the filter together and the fan array and you're ready to go. Whilst if you're looking for a quiet device for the home, you're still gonna be better off with a standard PC fan kit like the NuKit Tempest or the Luggable XL. For those wanting to travel, there really isn't anything on the market that can provide this ability. The fact that you can break it down, fit it into a standard carry-on luggage is just really impressive. And for those wanting that, this has to be at the top of your list. Whilst it was much louder at its highest fan speed when compared to other PC fan kits, you can adjust the fan speed to find a sweet spot. I personally found that eight volts was a really good place for cleaning performance and sound level generation. And at this median level of fan speed, it outperformed many of the other HEPA retail devices that we have tested. One area where the Air Fanta 3 Pro is gonna do really well is outside of the US. Whilst Corsi Rosenhall boxes are easy to build in the US where you have access to HVAC filters and box fans, in Europe and UK, it's not so easy. So the Air Fanta 3 Pro really fixes that issue for many of us living outside of the US because you have a PC fan array with custom filters from Air Fanta. So you can really have your own Corsi style box without having to import parts from the United States. Personally, I'm a big fan of the Air Fanta 3 Pro and I can't wait to try some of the other Air Fanta devices. If you have any questions about this device, as always, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Sorry G, can you put the volume down a little bit?